Hi y'all. Today I want to show you, I guess I would say who I am. My name's Becky um, and I'm a mixed media artist and journal maker in Texas. Today I want to show you how I've made these um, journal cards and I want to show them to you and tell you all about where they started. And then I'm going to show you how I did some of these techniques and some of my um, my favorite uh, things that I have to have around when I'm doing these. My favorite supplies. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to show you the individual cards. These cards were made with um, an old painting that I cut up. And this is the old painting that I cut up before I made them into this. And this is the last of this batch. It was an 11 by 14 mixed media painting on watercolor paper. And you can see that it's real textured and it's pretty good thickness. So watercolor is great to use for making tags. And if you happen to have, you can use cardstock if you don't have any watercolor paper. Um, and it works just as good, uh, except for it has a smooth finish instead of this texture. And I like the texture. Uh, it adds a little extra something. So the first thing I do when I made these, step one, was to cut them up, cut the painting up. And I had to take a deep breath before I did it. But anyway, uh, I cut it up in the sizes I wanted. And then I use Distress Oxide ink on the back because the backs were white. My favorite colors of Distress Oxide ink that I used in this project were Dusty Concord and Peacock Feathers. And I just uh, rubbed it on the backs to, give, to get rid of that white spot. And then I made the, a frame around the edges. So the next thing I did was I um, covered it with tissue paper. And I'll have a little bit more about that uh, in a minute. But this tissue paper was actually party napkins that I got at Dollar Tree. And I um, was really happy to be able to get them. But I also, one of the things I did... Um, before I started was I cut up with my mom's old um, pink and shears. These are really, really old. And my mom used them. I used them. My, both my sisters used them growing up. But now I've got them. And what I did was I cut myself up a little pre-made stamp type shapes. And yeah, you can buy um, you can buy the um, the pre-made stamps with the pretty little things on them, but I wanted really things that I could use in the background. And also I wanted different sizes. I wanted big sizes, little sizes, and I was mainly going for the color. Uh, and I have a bunch of these made up in all different colors that I use. And I have them ready to go so when I get ready to decorate the um, the tags in, in, in the inside of my pages, I've got them all ready and I don't have to stop and think, now what do I want to do? I just pick a color and go for it. So this one, and I use the pre-made tag there, and I decorate all the backs of mine too. Um, the one thing I do buy, which I just love, is the small talk, small talk uh, for words and phrases by Tim Holtz Ideology. And I have used this, I bought them on sale, believe me, <laughs> but I have used this so much and it just gives the little bit of extra touch that this needed to make it look finished. And I use Monopoly money um, to cut up for the background on that. And, you know, it's something that I had that 
I had I got for free and I've got it around the house just waiting for it to be used and I really like the way that looks. I did buy stickers um, from uh, Dollar Tree. So I do have Dollar Tree stickers on these. And these were Dollar Tree. So uh, whatever I can find at Dollar Tree. This one is Use Your Wings. And I used a button on that and a cutout circle you know, with my circle punch and my little cutout stamp shape. And then I got the back. Another thing is I sign every one of these because I figure they're little works of art. They were originally an, a work of art that I had uh, that would be matted and framed and sold in the art gallery that I'm involved with. But um, this one hadn't sold, so I just decided... I wasn't going to try to sell any of my abstract artworks anymore. I'm just, just going to cut them up and use them. Um, so I think my days of trying to sell artwork are over. <laughs> it's just too much effort. And I love making it, but I don't like selling it. So you're going to get to see what I do with it. But this is stamps over one of my pre-cut things um, there. I like this one, Just Breathe, another one of those Tim Holtz words. And then these are cut out. That's from a magazine. This is one of my pre-cut stamps. A little Tim, a little uh, Dollar Tree butterfly. Dollar Tree sticker. Be You Bravely. I, I splurged and I bought uh, a little flower punch uh, this week and I really like it. It's it's um, just a little delicate touch that I um, think is pretty cool. Adventure awaits you on this one. Now, if anybody can tell me this, this is one of those clear back uh, flower stickers that you can get online and I just love them. They're so pretty. They just give the right accent. But man, I cannot get them off that plastic page and and get the um get them separated from the backing. If anybody knows a, an easy way to do that, please let me know in the comments because I <laughs> must have wrestled with that thing for 10 minutes <laughs> before I got it off that the backing. <laughs> this one I, it's another Dollar Tree uh, decoration, and it's it's uh, two layers, and I thought it was enough for the front. It didn't need any additional embellishment, and um, then the back. And this one, another, you know, just Dollar Tree embellishments that I picked up. And then, you see, I used them in just about every tag. I used those little cutouts, so they were worth the, the little bit of time it took me to, to um, get them. And I didn't think that these two needed any extra embellishment. And I like the way they turned out there. Hope you like these, and if you have any questions, please let me know. And while I'm thinking about it, if you if you like this would you please hit the like button and maybe subscribe to me while you're at it and um, you'll get and hit the notification bell too so you'll get the notice when you um, when I post new ones okay here I've got some things that I did now they all started out like that then I inked the backs and the sides, and then I took a napkin, and I just, just glued it on top like that, and just glued, glued until it was completely covered. And while I'm at it, I want to tell you about the glue that I use to glue this down. To glue the napkins down, this is what I used. Elmer's Extreme 
It's a great big wide glue stick and it has been the best glue stick I have ever found. So I have to order it from Amazon, um, but it has been great for a number of applications. So anytime that you have paper, uh, use this. I really have used this and I really like it. So it's great for paper to paper, um, but it's not good for heavier objects. For heavier objects, I use this. Art glitter glue, it dries clear and it, it sticks fast. And you've got this middle metal top piece on top there that comes that you can order with it. And it is a fine point. You know, I can't see it. I'm farsighted. Can't see up close. But it is a fine point. So you can just cover the backs of your stuff along the edges and then glue it down. And this has been the greatest thing. And um, I know a lot of other artists use it. But I swear by it. This is great stuff. For heavier objects, I use Beacon Fabri-Tac. And it is, it dries shiny. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Um, because a lot of this stuff is matte and it looks funny to have something with sparkles. If I don't have sparkles other places on the, on the page or on the tag. But Beacon Fabri-Tac. And it is great for heavier things or for plastic. Uh, anytime you have fabric, uh, or plastic or any kind of thicker, heavier uh, object you want to glue onto your page or your card, this is the stuff you need. And those are the three glues that I use most. Now, I know there's a lot of um, uh, videos out there about collaging uh, tissue paper onto, uh, and onto pages and cards. Uh, but I want to show you um, just how I have learned to do it. Now, this is very thin. And this and it originally came like this. And it's a real thick, beautiful napkin. And it's three layers. And most of these napkins are three layers. So how you get it to look like this is you grab your trusty... Just regular old tape. Scotch tape is what I happen to have. And then, whoop, rip it off. There goes one layer. And then, that's how you, you know, you just do the same thing and tear the whole thing up. <laughs> so anyway, that you do the same thing after you take off the top layer, which I neglected to do. So you finish taking off the top layer and then you come down to the first layer like that. Okay. So if any of you missed how to do that, that is what I picked up from all the YouTube videos I've been watching lately. Okay. And I told you about these pre-cut with my trusty and I told you about the napkin and the tape and here's this and um the distress oxide ink that I use these are by Ranger and I'm gonna have to get some more of the little refill pads but this little holder this wooden holder was worth worth the bucks that I bought but I buy everything on sale Hope this has helped you, and if you have any questions, please just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. It should be pretty quick, and um, if you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. I hope y'all are having a great, fun-filled day doing what you love. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>